first of all, 2014 globally was the warmest year in the history of the records. If you look at the map of the temperature difference relative to the historical average for the last winter, you see a blue spot over the northeast US, and everything else is red. Everywhere else was warm. The west was hot like crazy, right? It was super hot and dry. There's no snow in the mountains. But not only the west. I mean, everywhere else in the, in the hemisphere was warm all winter, um, and the southern hemisphere, too, for that matter, where it was summer. So I mean, the, the, actually, you could say the skeptics have an easier time arguing that this says some, is somehow contradicting the statements about global warming, but it really doesn't. I mean, that's a, it's an extremely shallow criticism, right? It's like Senator Snowball. I mean, it's, it's, it's such a vacuous um, argument as, as to be that easily refuted, I think. But there is a more serious question, which I don't know if it's the one you meant to. There are a couple more serious questions. The first is that the last uh, 10 or 15 years, the planet has been, uh, has not gotten warmer over that, significantly warmer over that period, although that period was warmer than the 10 years before that, was warmer than the 10 years before that. So I mean, the long-term trend has continued going up. And the other sort of maybe much more subtle and complex question that many of us are really working hard on, there is an argument that some are, are making that these last uh, two winters in the Northeast, which were both quite cold, are actually sort of counterintuitively a result of the warming climate because the jet stream is disturbed in such a way that even though it's warmer everywhere, it's still colder over the North Pole and Canada than here, and that air is coming in our direction more than it otherwise would because the jet stream is distorted. Um, that's a very subtle question. I, I'm not. I should just. I'm not convinced by that research. I don't think that's that likely to be true. I think it's more likely that we had two fluky cold winters in a row and. Over the long term, our winters are going to keep getting warmer, just as, as they have over the last um, century. Uh, but um, and you know, there were winters earlier in the century that earlier in the previous century, I should say, that were much colder than the all the all the coldest years in the record. Most of them are 100 years ago or more. I mean, it really used to be colder. 